Hello to all my wizards. Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Especially our graded students. Our topic for today is problems involving rational expressions. These are the mathematical models involving rational equations. Kindly master our previous topics. Go to our playlist. And of course, for those who haven't subscribed in our channel, please do subscribe first before watching. And of course, to our dear teachers, please do not use this video as your instructional materials in our lessons. Just give the link to your students. So they will directly go to this video. Okay, let's start our problem number one. Oh, by the way, our topic will be composed of series. Uh, series one will be the number problems. Series two will be the digit problems. Three will be the work problems. And four will be the motion problems. So stay tuned, subscribe in order for you to notify in our upcoming videos. The problem is the new, um, sorry, the denominator, the denominator of a fraction is 4 more than the numerator. If 3 is added to both the numerator and denominator, the result is 1 half. Find the original fraction. Okay. In word problems, it is very important to represent our given. In our first statement, for our representation, the numerator is of a fraction is 4 more than the numerator. Again, the denominator. So, we have denominator. Its value is 4 more than the numerator. So, 4 more than the numerator. Therefore, our numerator is x. Okay. Again, denominator is 4 more than the numerator. So, let's say our numerator is x. After getting the information of our first sentence, proceed in our second sentence. If 3 is added to both numerator and denominator, so if we're going to add 3 for numerator, I'm going to add 3 to numerator and add 3 to the denominator. So let us simplify. This will become for numerator, x plus 3. And for denominator, x plus 4 plus 3, 7. Okay. This will be our fraction. Our fraction is x plus 3 for the numerator over denominator is x plus 7. Okay. Let us continue our given. The result is 1 half. So if we're going to add 3 to numerator and denominator, the result is 1 half. Okay. Find the original fraction. So our original fraction is our representation x over x plus 4. This is our original fraction. This is our original. So let us solve for x. To solve for x, the easiest way is to cross multiply. So I am going to multiply 2 to the left side of the equation. So 2 times x plus 3 is equal to 1 times x plus 7. Okay, let us repeat. 2 times x plus 3. That's why it's cross because we're going to do this one. 
2 times x plus 3 and 1 times x plus 7 cross or the x okay now simplify 2 times x will become 2x 2 times 3 positive 6 is equal to 1 times x that is x 1 times 7 positive 7 now combine like terms transpose so 2x minus x is equal to 7 minus Do not forget to change your sign if you're going to move the expression on the left side or on the right side. That's why positive x, it will become negative x. Positive 6, it will become negative 6. 2x minus x, it will become 1x or simply x is equal to 7 minus 6, positive 1. Okay, the value of x is positive 1. Now, your task is find the original fraction. So our original fraction is x over x plus 4. This is the original fraction. So we're just going to substitute the value of x. Our x is 1 over 1 plus 4. So this will become 1 over 1 plus 4 will become 5. So 1 fifth is our original fraction. If you want to check whether your answer is correct, let's do the checking. So checking. In our working equation, we have x plus 3 over x plus 7 is equal to 1 half. So substitute the value of x. So x is 1. So change x. 1 plus 3 over 1 plus 7 is equal to 1 half. 1 plus 3, that is 4, over 1 plus 7, that is 8, is equal to 1 half. 4 over 8, that is 1 half, and it is equal to 1 half. Correct. That is the checking. Okay, we're done in our first, the number problem. Once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV and please don't forget to subscribe, share to your classmates and to your schoolmates this video to help them in their modules.